people know about those other car makers. And yeah. the, the great thing about this story is it needs to be told. It's a great story, but we nobody ever knows it. Like a lot of people don't even realize Lamborghini was the name of a person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's a great time to have a movie come out. Congratulations on the film. It's, Thank you. It's great. Um, what what made you want to, to be a part of it in the first place? Are you a car guy? I am a car guy. Um, but mostly what made me want to do it is the opportunity to play an Italian icon. I'm Italian. Uh, I'm an Italian citizen. And uh, to get the opportunity, which I probably may be once in a lifetime for me, to get to go do this, to have somebody believe that I could do it was enough. What kind of research do you do for something like this? Is it is it more than you would do for, for a fictional character? You know, normally, yeah. I, I probably would over-research it and I would overthink it. And fortunately, I didn't have that the luxury of that time. I only had about 10 days before I got the job and had to go to Italy. Wow. And uh, so I read the book that the movie's based on. And I spoke a lot to Bobby Moresco, the director and writer who had a lot of information. And then I kind of cut it off because I didn't want to start kind of the wheels turning. And I got to Italy and we just kind of jumped into it with how I sounded and what I looked like and the beautiful suits. And uh, it was so much easier than I thought it was going to be for me. I've like, as far as the role is concerned, I fell into this so naturally and organically that, uh, I mean, it's the most fun. I've had so much fun doing it. You know, obviously a lot of uh, Lamborghini's family is still around. Yeah. Uh, and the the movie does a really good job of talking about not only how driven he was, but how that drive affected his family life. So how is it for you to play that knowing his family was going to see this? Yeah. It, by the way, Antonino, who wrote the book, who's when you meet him, he is, uh, you know, he's a, he's a very smart, uh, very powerful guy in Italy, piercing blue eyes. And every time he would stay on set. And so I would do a take and somehow I'd find myself looking at him like, is he going to like throw rocks at me? And so it was it was a bit it was a bit intimidating at first. And then I had to let it go because the interpretation of who I think he was is that right. And I couldn't I'm not I was going to mimic what he thought his father like I wasn't going to make him I, I couldn't make him happy. Right. And yet I just went to the Rome Film Festival and I had a little bit of a conversation with him. He doesn't speak English really. And I and I had them ask, is he happy with it? And he kissed me on both cheeks. So either that means he's going to kill me or he was very happy with it. Strong feelings. Out <laughs> Good. How much did you know about um, Fruitio Lamborghini before this? Anything? Nothing. We didn't. How much did you know? Like people know about those other car makers. And yeah. the, the great thing about this story is it needs to be told because it's a great story, but we nobody ever knows it. Like a lot of people don't even realize Lamborghini was the name of a person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's a great time to have a movie come out. Yeah. Yeah. I was one of those people. So yeah. I appreciated it. I know. I'm like, Lamborghini, <laughs> what, there's a guy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you were behind the wheel of some really beautiful cars in this. Were you oh, were you able to drive them? Was that you driving them? No. Uh these cars weren't registered. They're, these are real museum pieces. These were these are these are collectors items and we put them on a, a flatbed and you know, we, we did our thing and I didn't want, I, I want none of that responsibility in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I would be terrified. To yeah. I, I got enough problems. Yeah. <laughs> and if you have like 10 hours, I'll go through those things. You mentioned that you're, you have Italian citizenship, but uh, yeah. is there anything that you miss about just getting to be there and shoot there and, and spend that time? Oh, I was just there for the Rome film festival too. And I have to tell you, I'm seriously considering as my kids have, are getting, One's getting out of high school next year, and then I got one left. I'm seriously considering splitting my time between Italy and the United States. That's how much I I I uh, I love it. I love being Italian. I love being Italian in Italy. So uh, it's for me. It's kind of a. It fits my lifestyle better than than here. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm going back. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, time. man. Appreciate it.